Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are having a buffalo chicken quesadilla. If you guys want to see how I make this, go ahead and stick around. I'm going to show you guys how I make this and then we're going to eat right after. Okay, you guys, welcome back. Let me show you all the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. If you want to go ahead and grab them so we can cook and eat it together, that would be awesome. So let me show you guys what you're gonna need. I'm gonna need some shredded cheese or whatever cheese of your choice. This is what I'm gonna be using today. Some cream cheese. I'm using the onion and chive. Your favorite buffalo sauce. Tortilla of your choice. I'm using these carb control Don Pancho wraps. Some shredded chicken. Pro tip, if you cook your chicken the day before, this will be a super easy lunch to make for the very next day. That's exactly what I did. I have one full boneless, skinless chicken breast in here, shredded. All right, those are all of the ingredients you're gonna need. Now let's get to cooking. Before we start cooking, I wanted to show you guys my pan that I absolutely love. I had somebody comment in one of my previous cook with me videos what kind of pan I was using. And this pan, is she's my new favorite i love her um so i got this from costco um i have the box i saved the box just in case i didn't like it so this is a all-in-one plus and the brand is tramontina i got it for 50 dollars at costco um it's a five piece set it comes with two wooden utensils comes with the lid and then inside it comes with a steamer basket and then of course the the pan this is non-stick it's ceramic easy to clean dishwasher safe um, you can use it on all different um, types of cooking surfaces it can even go in the oven um, I absolutely love this they had a choice of this white one or a blue one that's similar to the color that's on the inside of this pan but yeah I absolutely love this pan it's my new favorite pan all right so let's get back to the recipe Okay, so we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna, just gonna do um, like a buffalo chicken situation. So we're gonna take our chicken, then we're gonna take our cream cheese. I'm just gonna use like a spoonful of this. And then I'm going to add buffalo sauce. This is almost all of it. So we're just gonna mix this up until we have the consistency that we want. I'm gonna add another scoop of the cream cheese because it just doesn't seem to be as creamy as I want it. This is what I have. I wish I had a little bit more buffalo sauce, but um, yeah, just kind of mix it to your consistency. If you want it to be more creamy, add more cream cheese. If you want it to be more tangy with the buffalo, just add more buffalo sauce. We're just going to be adding the chicken to the quesadilla. I'm going to use about half. So I have half left for another full one. And we're going to make this, I call it pizza style. So it'll be two tortillas right on top of each other. Now you can use rotisserie chicken. You can use canned chicken. This chicken I just cooked in the Instant Pot. So it was pressure cooked and it's really soft. And then you're gonna sprinkle on your cheese. Now we're just gonna place this on top and this is ready to go in the pan. So I have my heat on a medium heat and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I'm actually gonna take some of this cause I don't want the bottom to absorb all the oil. So I'm gonna take some of this and just brush it on the top tortilla. Let this cook for about two minutes each side until you have it as toasty as you like it.
All right now I'm just I'm just gonna take a pizza cutter. You hear that crunch? All right, you guys, doesn't it just look, it looks so good. I'm upset that I don't have more buffalo sauce. Let's give it a try first before I add what little droppings I have left of this. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. Did you guys follow along with this recipe? I am really enjoying these cook and eat with me videos. Um, I also have some Wingstop Ranch from earlier this week that I might be using, but let's give this a try. Let's see if I can get a cheese pull. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. The buffalo is definitely there. I think because of the cream cheese, it's just not as orange as I would like it to be. Oh yeah. I almost burnt it. Like this is like right on the verge before completely burning it. For me anyways to drink i'm gonna be having this tropical seven up it's new zero sugar um it's good i don't think i'd buy it again i feel like it's a little too artificially flavored so but it's very good it's like a a peach mango that, that's the picture that's on top so let me know how you guys are doing I'm gonna pour some of this ranch mm. oh yeah Perfect, just enough to top. I like Frank's Red Hot, but this is actually pretty good too. I haven't really tried any other brands. If you guys have a different brand of buffalo sauce that you guys like, let me know. I'll try it out. I feel like you can't really mess up buffalo sauce though, you know? Mmm. This is so good, exactly, exactly what I wanted. thing I don't like about my cook my previous cook with me videos is sometimes you can't see the food um just because like the way I have the camera set up and yeah so I figured I would just bring my table I don't know why I didn't think of this before I'll just bring my table to the kitchen mm. I do want like a little veggie so hold on all right I got a couple <laughs> things of celery I did want to show you guys um maybe not a lot of people know this but you know how sometimes you get celery and it's really stringy so what I do to kind of like cut that in half is I'll break it and then if you just peel it it like brings the strings off and that's what can be hard to like chew and you're sitting there like chewing forever um and I just take off whatever comes off as I like peel the end off so <clears throat> see just like that just a little trick I learned I don't know where I learned it from but I think
Mm. The celery goes really well with the buffalo. I wanted to eat this yesterday. I've been craving it. But I got too carried away with like prepping veggies and like freezing like bulk meat that I buy. That by the time I got finished, it was too late to, to film a cook with me video. I got panda instead. But this is so, so good. I do have leftover of the chicken, so tomorrow, unless one of my kids want to have one when they get home from school, a quesadilla. Jose doesn't really prefer buffalo sauce. Tony either. <laughs> but Sophia does. Um, I want to make, if I have leftover, I want to make buffalo chicken jalapeno poppers. It just, it sounds good. I got the idea when I was mixing the buffalo sauce, the buffalo filling. It'd be a nice little touch to a, a jalapeno popper. The celery really helps cut through the acidity of the buffalo sauce and the heaviness of the cheese. Brings that nice fresh crunch. I'll be done after this piece. This is actually very filling. So this is about half of a chicken breast um I used half of the mixture so for this whole serving right here it's about half of a chicken breast 
one and a half tablespoons of cream cheese, about a half a cup of cheese maybe. That's kind of a lot, but I love cheese. Um, the buffalo sauce, whatever your heart desires, and then the wraps, it's two wraps and each wrap is only like 70 calories. So this is a very filling meal. Of course all the ranch doesn't help, but it's so good. Mmm. Uh oh, my battery is talking to me. It's flashing red. I gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, turn your notifications on, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you made this with me and you ate with me um, and how you liked it. Share this video, rate it for me, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. And with that, I will see you guys soon with a brand new video. Bye.